It is official. Teams are circling the Milwaukee Bucks for the first time truly as they believe Giannis Antetokounmpo will be available at the trade deadline. A trade that, as we know, if it happens, has the potential to swing titles. One of the rarest things in basketball is an MVP level talent getting traded, let alone getting traded at the deadline. But I have one question truly for us. Have people forgotten that just two years ago, Giannis was in discussion for greatest power forward of all time over 15 time all-star, 15 time all-NBA, two time MVP, and five time champion Tim Duncan. A controversial statement, but after the 2022 season was over, Giannis was truly on the path to become one of the 10 greatest basketball players of all time. At the end of the 2022 season, Giannis was still seen by many as the best basketball player in the world as he averaged around 34 points, 15 rebounds, and seven assists per game in a seven game series loss to the Boston Celtics that started a snowball effect that has essentially seen Nikola Jokic dethrone Giannis as the face of this decade, while the Celtics have become everyone's team to beat. As we know though, in the last two years, the Bucks have had serious roster management and coaching issues. Name an issue, they've had it. And by no fault of his own, Giannis' greatness has been pushed down. The thing is though, he is still a two-time MVP. He is still a champion. He still has a chance to finish top 10 of all time. The only problem is, Time is counting down. So what's up, Mike here? And in the second half of this video, we are going to go through together the four or five really trade destinations that currently make the most sense for Giannis when we account for the fact that he is sick of losing and wants to win a title. A small hint, one of these teams is absolutely overpowered. I think you're going to agree, but first we need to talk about how insanely dominant Giannis has been, not only recently, but also we need to bring up Giannis's legacy here. While players pretend like legacy don't matter. They, of course, do. Winning more titles and MVPs not only brings your name up on lists, it makes your impact on the game much more meaningful and known. You are basketball's history. And because of that, you reap the rewards. No hate on Russell Westbrook. I'm not hating on Russell Westbrook. But at one point in time, he had a strong fan base that was saying he was better than Steph Curry. Because of Steph Curry's success, because of not only the MVPs, because of the championships, Steph is going to leave the game as a top 10 player of all time, while Russ is probably getting tweeted at this very second. Currently, Giannis's resume is elite. Two-time MVP, defensive player of the year, one-time champion, one-time finals MVP, MVP, eight time all NBA member and six first team all NBA selection. These numbers are very important because they are actually on the brink of top 10 status of all time. If Giannis wins a title or two, if Giannis continues to be a first team all NBA performer, he is right there. Already throughout all of NBA history, there have been just 20 players to get six first team all NBA selections. For comparison, Steph Curry has four first team selections, Kevin Garnett has four first team selections, Moses Malone has 14 first selections and two MVPs. In the awards cabinet, Giannis has already outperformed many NBA legends. And if he were to finish with just two more first team all NBA selections, he would join a list of 15 players that is absolutely historic. LeBron, Kobe, Carl Malone, Tim Duncan, Michael Jordan, Kareem, Jerry West, Elgin Baylor, Bob Pettit, Bob Cousy, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, Oscar Robertson, and Shaq, the best of the absolute best. But before we continue guys, I am very excited to thank Factor for sponsoring today's video because if you did not know, Factor makes meeting your nutritional goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. With Factor, you're able to skip the stress of meal prepping over the holidays as you're able to choose from over 35 plus weekly flavor packed, fresh, never frozen meals that support a healthy lifestyle. They also meet your meal preference and are delivered right to your door and ready to eat in two minutes. Now, personally, my favorite are the Protein Plus meals. If you need an extra boost, they have 30 grams of protein or more per serving. And as you can see, personally, I've been on that chicken grind. I've been on that fitness grind. This chicken was delicious and it only took two minutes to make, which to me with my busy schedule is absolutely key. So with all of that said, head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code 50 Corzemba to get 50% off plus free shipping on your first factor box. That's code 50 Corzemba at factor 
factor75.com to get 50% off plus free shipping on your first box. Thank you again to factor for sponsoring today's video. And for now, let's get back into the video. And with this said, I truly believe we have every reason to think that Giannis still not only has something left in the tank, that he actually still has the potential to be the best two-way player in the NBA right now. Currently, we know Giannis passes the eye test with his extreme explosiveness and defense. He also, on the stat sheet, has arguably performed better than any hybrid small forward slash power forward we have ever seen. Between 2019 and 2024, which is between the ages of 24 and 29 for Giannis, Giannis averaged a combined 29.5 points, 12 rebounds, and 5.9 assists per game. In this same six-year period of age, 24 to 29, the NBA has only seen seven players average at least 25 points and 12 rebounds per game. That is it. And those names are Wilt Chamberlain, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Moses Malone, Bob Pettit, Shaq, and Elgin Baylor, which shows us Giannis's prime years were just statistically among the best of the best, but it gets even better because if we include assists, Giannis becomes the only player to average at least 25 points, 12 rebounds, and five assists per game during that period. And as we know, Giannis is scoring far surpassed that benchmark. If the right team trades for Giannis, the potential to swing a championship this season is there. Now, an MVP level talent like Giannis has never been traded in the middle of the season and then led or helped lead his team to an NBA championship. However, Pau Gasol was traded in the middle of the season and he helped the Lakers reach the finals. And Rasheed Wallace for the 2004 Detroit Pistons was an all-star level talent who was traded and brought Detroit a championship. The only thing Rasheed clears Giannis in is technical fouls, if we're being honest. So at this point, let's switch things up and look at the biggest possibilities for a Giannis trade. I'm rooting for this man to end up top 10 of all time. And so we are going to start with the Golden State Warriors, where a Steph and Giannis guard forward duo is something that, if they were both in their primes, would have been legendary. Imagine Giannis in transition running to the rim and finding Steph for countless fast break threes. Imagine Steph using his gravity from deep to give Giannis the open space in the half court that Draymond Green uses now. Draymond averaged 5.6 assists per game for his career with Steph. Giannis, with the amount of space that Steph would create, is just an insanely scary thought. The problem for the Warriors, though, is that if they are going to make a swing for Giannis, their young players need to be showing more. To begin the year, Jonathan Kaminga is averaging just 11.4 points per game. Moses Moody is averaging 11, and Pods is averaging 10.2 points, 5.6 rebounds, and 4.2 assists. Promising for Pods, but the point is that this roster does not real all-star level talent, or at least guaranteed all-star level talent, that a player like Giannis would need to be traded for, especially in the open market, especially when teams start making offers. If Giannis forces a trade to the Warriors, Steph and Giannis would be very fun to watch, but I don't think it's likely. I also do not think that the Brooklyn Nets are likely, even though that Giannis is saying that he wants to go there. This just does not add up because Giannis is saying everywhere that he wants to win, and that is why he would be leaving Milwaukee, but the Nets are terrible. So the only way I can see this happening is if Kyrie and LeBron both opt out of their player options after this summer, sign with Brooklyn, and create a super team with Giannis. If that happens, remember I said this, but it's doubtful. So let's move on to the most likely two teams, where the Miami Heat have been the team that has been linked the most to Giannis. They've been linked to really everyone that's a star, but we're not going to waste time here. Let's just be realistic. How could the Heat possibly trade for an MVP level Giannis, who is in his prime and locked in contract wise? The Bucks are not going to take Tyler Hero. Not gonna happen. No team has shown interest yet. If the Heat give up Bam, they get slightly better with Giannis, but give up their team. I actually think that Giannis would fit much better with a team such as the Houston Rockets, who could send an incredible trade package, build around Reed Shepard, Jalen Green, Jabari, Singoon, Cam, anyone who is left. That is a young roster with a lot of talent, but honestly, there is only one team that we need to speak about that needs to make an overpowered trade eventually. And that team is the Oklahoma City Thunder, of course. The Thunder have all of the assets in the world to take an already promising, an already incredible young star-studded team and make them even better with an MVP level talent. The combo of Giannis and Shea already gives OKC two of the top three to eight players, depending on who you ask. And then based on what the trade looks like, you either keep a knockdown scorer in Jay Will, or I would say preferably, you keep Chet Holmgren and you just run off a dynasty. Chet is a willing jump shooter. He is a versatile defender. I think him and Giannis would work 
and I believe immediately Giannis and Chet would be in the discussion for best defensive front court ever. Big statement, I know, but the possibility for a Thunder trade is more than there. The Thunder are not going to just sit on their picks and ignore a possibility to lock in a dynasty run if the opportunity is there. OKC still owns a treasure trove of first round picks that includes the Los Angeles Clippers 2026 and 2027 first round picks. Two picks that are among the hottest commodities in the entire NBA as the Clippers future does not look good and any team including the Milwaukee Bucks can instantly jumpstart a rebuild with help from a bunch of the Thunders picks along with young players such as either Chet Holmgren or Jalen Williams. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. What do you think down below? Would Chet and Giannis work together or is there another team you'd like to see Giannis on? If you're still here and you enjoyed the video, it would be awesome if you subscribed and turned on post notifications. That way you never miss a video. And also, I think you're really going to enjoy the video in the top left. It is on how the Lakers got the biggest steal in the NBA draft. And the video in the top right is on Reed Shepard.